Good morning, it's Friday, July 21st, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Life Disappears, and our scripture is James, chapter 1. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. Phrases such as troubles of any kind and opportunity for great joy hardly seem to mesh. Some words strung together take you by surprise. They can be unnerving and gnaw at your mind for days, weeks, or a lifetime. You're hearing it for the first time, yet you're amazed at how common the thought is to many other people. It's something akin to that strange thing that happens when you buy a new car and suddenly you notice how many of the same kind of car are now on the road. I mean, did you ever notice them before, or is there a new virus making people buy that brand? The words that took me by storm were, an unbroken heart is sterile. Since reading that thought, I've seen it in a number of unrelated quotes, and a lot more quotes courtesy of Google most of which were connected with the approaching darkening and disappearance of the mind, Alzheimer's. A disclaimer about searching that topic, you will not have an unbroken heart when you're done. Your heart will be pulled apart at the seams, and what leaks out will be every last shred of defense against a compassionless life. You'll need to get involved. My bride, Elizabeth, and I binge-watched the third season of The Chosen this week. It's the most powerfully stirring presentation of the Gospel accounts I have ever seen. It faithfully retells the events of Jesus' ministry and the effect it had on those who experienced it firsthand. More than just words on a book's page, you're drawn as a participant in the presence of the God-man. Heaven come down to dwell among us. In one of the episodes, a man possessed by a demon is healed by Jesus. By definition, to be possessed by an evil spirit is to lose one's mind and therefore any control over your actions or even thought life. This pretty much describes the downward spiral of Alzheimer's, a slow death by disappearance. In healing the man, Jesus restores his memory, his thoughts, and returns joy, the great joy Apostle James mentions. The demon was thought to be unconquerable, that is, until it was introduced to he who has power over the darkness of evil and death. I've had some brush with the effects of the disappearing mind. In 2007, my mom and dad came to live with us. In the early stages of dementia, mom was still a sweet, quiet person, but she was troubled with very disturbing dreams and struggling at times to have even simple conversations. I didn't fully realize or admit to myself, frankly, that we were losing her slowly until one time she answered my knock at the door with a puzzled look that confirmed she did not recognize me. She had known me for sixty years, and we were starting to say goodbye. James tells us that troubles of any kind are opportunities of great joy. Now, it's hard to frame that in any positive way to those who have had to repeat their names to family, often or those who have no recollection or explanation of why they cannot see or speak or hear or breathe well, or who this one is who's sleeping next to her in the bed, or those who stand helpless on the sidelines watching their loved ones suffering, disappearing one forgotten word at a time, or those who have nowhere to sleep tonight, no food to eat this week, For you today, you may be on that list somewhere, hurting in the wake of life's inevitable and unavoidable losses. To you, James's words may sound like Ronald Reagan's favorite cartoon of a cowboy digging in a huge pile of manure. The caption has the cowboy thinking, there must be a pony in here somewhere. The pony in all of life's troubles, is the opportunity to get to know the great giver of all joy. Meet you on that as you hit the rocky road. 
Have a blessed day.